What's going on guys? Welcome back to another discord.js tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be creating some embeds. I know I did a tutorial about this about a year ago, but I think it's about time to redo that tutorial. Now, before we get started, I do want to give my Twitch channel a quick shout out. There will be a link in the description. It is the end of the year. There's a lot of games that are coming out. So if you want to check me out on Twitch, there'll be a link in the description. So let's go ahead and get started. If you're completely new here, make sure to watch the first three videos. We got the basics on how to set up you know, your Discord bot. We also have the basic commands. So if you want to create basic commands, and then in this video, we're going to be using the command handler. So there's going to be a third video that you have to watch to get everything up and running. So let's actually get started. So to basically get embeds to work with our command handler, we have to pass in discord right here. So in this method of execute, just make sure to pass in discord. And basically, that's the variable we created here, which is requiring discord.js. So if you name this something different, make sure to change it down here as well. And then on our command handler, we also want to add discord as well. So we're able to use it here. So to create an embed, we're going to create a const or a variable, and we're going to name this new embed. You can name it whatever you want. And it's going to be equal to a new discord embed, uh, sorry, discord.message embed. And that's how we're creating an embed. Now we can actually add a lot, and I mean a lot of methods. We can add a method that sets a color, sets title, a URL, also the author description, thumbnail, fields. It's a lot of crazy things that you can do with embeds. I'll probably have a link in the description to all of the methods that you can use to customize your embed. We're gonna do a little bit of a simple embed here, but you can pretty much customize this as much as you want. So we can continue our line here in our code because all we have to do is add a method like add, uh, set color, but to make this more organized, you can actually just make spaces and make this into a, you know, a new method every other line or every line. Uh, so for example, if we want to set a color, we do have a hash color. So let me actually search for hash colors to see, uh, or color codes, hex colors. So there's a website like this, which is the color hex color codes. I'll probably have this website as well in the description. And these are the hex codes for a bunch of colors. So let's go ahead and pick one. I don't like this one. This looks pretty nice. We're going to copy the hex color as well like this. And back in our code for the, you know, setting our color, we can just open this in parentheses and add, you know, the hex color. Well, you can do parentheses or single quotations. Then let's do a next method. We can do set title as well. And in a title, we can do um, rules. Yeah, let's do a rules embed. Why not? And then another method you can do is set a URL. So if you want, you can do set URL. And in here, you can add a URL if you want. So I'm gonna do HTTPS, HTTPS uh, colon, right? Two backslashes. And we're gonna do youtube.com slash code lion. One other method we can do is set the author if you want. If you wanna send you know, the author of the embed, I'm just gonna skip this one as well. And in description, we're going to do set description. And in here, we're going to do this is a embed for the server rules. Why not? And then finally, we're going to start getting into the fields. Now, the fields, it's something that could get crazy. And you do have to kind of go back and forth between your code and your Discord bot to see if your fields are pretty much all set. So we're going to do add fields and here we're going to open it with parentheses and then we're going to just open this up so we can add our fields. So a field has a name. So we're going to do a name and in this name, we are going to just say rule one. And I'm, you know, at the end of the video, I'm going to show you how this looks so you can kind of compare the code to how it looks. And then a name or the field will also have some sort of value. So we're going to add a value. And in this value, we can do something like a rule. So be nice, right? So that's a pretty simple rule, right? And if you want to add more fields, all you have to do is do a comma and you can just pretty much copy and paste all of these fields like this and then just change it to rule two, rule three, make sure to add a comma here. And then let's just say uh, follow Twitch, right? That has, that has to be a rule. And then our final rule will be to, uh, no memes, right? There we go. So that's our fields. And once again, I'll show you how the fields look in a little bit. One last thing we can do is we can do an image if you want. 
So we can do add image and we can get a random image of the internet. So I'm just going to search cat on Google and search for a cat image. That's a pretty nice cat. So I'm going to get this real quick, open a new tab, make sure we're all safe. Oh, add a blocker. This is annoying. Uh, open image, a new tab, right? So we got this image right here of a cat and make sure to open this in either single quotations or quotation marks. There's actually a couple of things we can do. Let's see what else we can do here. Um, we can also do the timestamp as well as the, the footer. So let's do the footer first, so set footer. And then we're gonna be last thing, make sure to check out the rules uh, channel as a footer here. And there's actually a lot more we can do, but I think this sets a pretty good embed that we can send to, you know, a member if a member does the command command. So to actually send the embed through this message, we're going to go ahead and do message that channel send, and we're going to send the embed here, which we created right here. And actually this has to be inside of the execute method right there. And then we're going to send a new embed and we are actually good to go make sure this is good this is all good now open up your terminal and terminal terminal and then do no space dots or however you start your bot and go back into discord and if we do command we are going not to get an embed what's going on Ooh, we got an error add image add image is not a function sorry see this is where mistakes are happening it's not add image it's set image. So set image. Again, all of these methods will be in the description below if you want to know. So sorry about that. It's not add image. It's set image. Open our bot one more time and then do command. And as you can see, we have our embed. So let's actually compare our code to our embed. As you can see, it is a nice cat. So let's go ahead and open both of them right next to each other so I can explain what you are seeing in the code and what you're seeing in the actual embed. Let's close this. Let's close this. And let's make this a little bit bigger. Also, do you guys like the transparent this, uh, you know, visual studio code? Um, I kind of do like it. It's I feel like it's more professional or it feels nicer to code when it's transparent and you can see the things in the background. So for the title, we had a title which rules and that is the title of the embed for the color. The color is basically the strip of the side, the color of the strip. So if we change it to a different color, this strip right here will change. And then the URL, it's, where is the URL? Is it the actual image? That is actually interesting. Do I click on this? Yeah, that's the URL. So on the title, if you want to do a URL, it will send you to whatever URL you put. So I set it to my code lion. This is actually something new to me. I didn't know that at all, but there it is. That's the URL to the title. Then we have the description is right below the title of the embed. And then here we have all of our fields. So we have rule one, rule two, rule three. There they are as a field. You can also make them stack to each other, but you can also find that in the description below to the methods because you can make them not like a line like this, but like across each other if you want. And then of course we got the image right there. We have the URL right here. And then we got the footer right here, which is make sure to check out the rules channel. So just like that, you can create a pretty nice embed. It's a pretty short video. It's, you know, pretty simple to do. There's a lot. And I mean, a lot of things that you can create with an embed. Most servers have very complicated embeds and you can go crazy with these. Um, so make sure to go all out. You can do whatever you want with embeds. That's pretty much it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video one more time. Make sure to check out my Twitch in the description below and I'll be back on Tuesday with my next tutorial. I think I'm going to be doing maybe a member counter. Today was supposed to be a member counter, but there was some problems that I had to figure out. So I decided to do embeds, which is something that did need an update, especially since we had a command handler to handle our commands. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys later on my next video. Peace.